I believe that every campus should have a library with computers that every student can access with a uh, web and uh, web access and uh, Wi-Fi as well so they can access from anywhere and I also believe that um, each uh, classroom should have a lecturer that will use the projectors and use uh, internet to show the students of various uh, subjects they, they, to understand the, the subject more. I believe when I enter the campus, I would like to see every student with either a laptop or a tablet so they can access uh, internet, so they can get onto the sky drives to either get electronically their uh, previous lectures or more information on the subject at hand. And I believe also Wi-Fi should be implemented as well, freely, but with restrictions. And I believe there should be an IT department on the ball, so that when things go wrong electronically, they can be there. Uh, first of all, the, uh, the work can be get done on time, because uh, some of us, we don't have uh, the access to the PCs at home, and we don't have money to go to the internet cafes. So if we can be issued with the laptops or the tablets here in the college, we can get our work done because uh, this, the thing is here in our campus we only have 10 um, pieces and the 10 pieces is, um, is, is, is accommodating like plus minus 1,000 students, so it's not enough. But the cons is the students, um, they can download stuff, bad stuff like maybe pawns, and maybe be busy on Facebook while the teacher is um, is busy, or uh, maybe on t being on Twitter, stuff like that. Okay, first of all, um, students that are staying in the location, let's say maybe they take they go, they taking the the laptops or the tablets home. What can happen is they can get robbed on their way home. So I think the safe, safety thing to do is when they are finished or when they are done to use the uh, laptops or the tablets that can stay in the position of the college and they can go home without the stuff. I think that lecturers should approach teaching 50-50, um, 50% technology, 50% the traditional way. Technology does add a, a difference or a change in teaching and it makes it exciting for students to learn that way. Um, that is a vaguely asked question because technology doesn't really dictate how a lecturer teaches, but it can add um, a sense of easiness or make it easier for, for students to learn, seeing that we, um, well, my generation of students is the age of information and technology is well, what we grew up with, but at the end of the day it depends solely on the lecturer itself because you know, technology doesn't really make lecturing better. Well, that depends on the age of the student, because you have students that are much older um, with lifelong learning. People are in their 50s, 40s and 60s and still wanting to learn and better their education. So, um, say under 30, maybe students under the age of 30 would be better at working with technology. But there are short courses and extra classes that lecturers could attend to learn and educate themselves about technology.
You said I think they should have a portal. YouTube portal makes things easier to access. Whereby if they want to access a file, it will just say about 50 lectures want to uh, want to access one file. So that will be easy in, in, in ways of trafficking. You cannot go, they won't go to, from campus to campus just for one file. So that's time consuming. And it's quite easier to, to, call it, to manage time. Yeah, they should, because if you have a, a mobile application, that means you can have, you can up, you can install that mobile application on your tab or your cell phone. So that makes things more easier. Let's say you don't have a desktop or a laptop, you have a tab whereby you can easily access your portal using that. Internet access should be regulated on campus whereby and cannot be easy, cannot be left open completely because it will decrease the security of the campus due to hacking, uh, spyware and viruses it can be easily trans transferred and it can damage the information of the campus, important information. Yes, the speed of the internet access is important due to the number of students that are on campus. You cannot have a two megabytes, two megabytes per second for each student. That will affect the time frame for submitting some tasks and the time frame of completing things. The cost of data on mobile devices is quite expensive, especially us as youth, because most of us are not working, so we can't afford it. So if we've got the free internet at school, we can easily have access to it. Mm, the college must have uh, like free internet on the school. Mm, I would say there must be a Wi-Fi in the school, but it depends. For instance, most of the students, while the lecturer is lecturing in, in class, mm, they are also they are concentrating on the computer, they are not listening to the lecture. So I would say the Wi-Fi must be in the OLC. It, it must not be accessible all the time. There must be a time, let's say, from 12 o'clock until 1 o'clock, and then after that, it must be closed. Yes, it would affect negatively because some of the students, they are here playing games instead of listening to the lecturer, which is not good. And they end up failing and they're always blaming the lecturers, which is not good. They are supposed to listen in class, do what they're supposed to do in class. There must be no internet in the class, inside the class because what is affecting them is that they easily can access the internet right now when the lecturer is lecturing right now. So I would say um, no. the internet must not be around us right now. It must be inside, outside the class or in, next to the OLC or in other labs inside, besides this one that the lecturer is lecturing inside in. No, which is not good for us, because if um, I'm communica communicating with my lecturer via on Facebook, that is not good for us. You, you can end up failing at the end of the year, because always on social network, not doing what you're supposed to do. I think it's hard.